And we're back, you guys. Let us continue. So, I'm done with the second temple. Third temple is up there in the woods. Although, this would be the dark side uh, Lost Woods. Which would be way darker than the original Lost Woods, which are more dark, but now it's a little darker because it's the Dark World's Lost Woods. Uh, whatever. <laughs> so the path to the desert is impossible from here in the Dark World because it's blocked by the by the land. But there is a little trick on this side here. It's a little different on the light world. Now I'm on the top. We're gonna get the... I believe this is the last medallion. And it's my favorite one, Bombos. Pretty much the power of fire burns and kills everything around you. I mean, it's better to do that than to be turning them into little monsters or something. I'm gonna get that bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Uh. I think. Not sure where I should go now, though. I don't remember where the warp point is to get to the Lost Woods from this world. So I'm gonna go walk around a little bit and see how it looks like from this side. I know that from here I can't make it on underneath the village because um because there's black rocks blo blocking. You know, once we can, once we're able to pick up black rocks, we'll be able to take that shortcut. But right now, as you can see, there is no path through here. And I think that up here, though. Oh, there is no path. Okay. Yeah, the warp point has to be somewhere up there. Okay. I think I have an idea of where to go. Let me just go to the light world. I can always just uh, teleport with the bird. Oops. We gotta get a ferry too. It's gotta be near Concorico Village. <clears throat> I know there's a war point here. Oh, alright, okay. Yeah, I was thinking of the black rock. I was thinking that maybe I couldn't make it because of the rock, but there's a path on the on the northern side that you can get through with a hammer. So we already got the hammer, so let's go. I just want to clear out a few dungeons until I'm able to pick up black rocks. And then I'll be able to unlock some other things. Let's open up here. Here's the skeleton chicken. I mean, yeah. That's how they look like in this world, like skeletons. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, tree that talks. Makes you wonder if all the trees once talked, and eventually they just died. And they look like trees, but they used to be people. It's kind of freaky. They always throw a bomb at you. It's like they don't want you to bother them. 
there's a mini game that you open up, like two chests, I think. You get some random things. I'm not sure if you can get anything good out of these games. Let me just uh, get out and in again. It's like you open one and you get a ruby after paying 30. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you can get anything out of those games. Oh, darn it. This is the thief from this world. He doesn't kill you, but he does strip you from all your items. You can skip to the next temple, which is that statue over there, but... I'd rather go in order, you know, just for the... Just for the sake of it. See what's in here. Oh, what a waste. Can't believe it. 300 rupees wasted. Why? So those are Poe's over there. Another tree that talks. Black rocks block that path for now. Although... can do something in the other world. Yeah. Go over here one second. And it's gonna be convenient now, because I'm gonna be using a lot of magic power from now on. I mean, in the next temple, I meant. It's a little hidden thing that you can only access through the hammer. I discovered this by pure accident when I was a kid, and out of random stuff that I threw at it, I threw a little bit of this powder, and this is what happens. Oh, waking me from my deep, dark sleep, I mean, thanks a lot, sir. <laughs> he's like, doesn't know how to decide whether or not he's gonna thank you or curse you. But he pretty much helps you out. Now, every um, magic use, its consumption is cut in half, so it's like we have a bigger bar, magic bar now, pretty much. And that's really, really good. There are going to be some items later on that will absorb a lot of magic, and it's better to have less magic consumption so that it lasts longer. Get a heart for the life of mine. Or a fairy. <laughs> a fairy's good. Could go for a fairy. I wonder what's. Uh... I know that the black. Oh, wait a second. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, Black Ross. Block that path there. Yeah, I guess this is, yeah, this is pretty much blocked. Alright, I didn't make it a, a mistake on coming from the north. I just thought that, like, it looked like they could go through, but you can. Yeah, after we pick up rocks, there's pretty much nowhere you can't go after that. Ah, uh, no. Not for now. I wish they had like an indication that there are rupees inside, like a symbol of a rupee over the chest, so that you don't open it just in case you're at max. Oh, that guy is a douche. That looks like a house, but it's not. It's weird.
still a black rock in this world. So... The next temple requires an item. And we're gonna get the item in the woods, because the temple is kind of divided in two. But once you get to the second part of the temple, it's... Whoa, fairies. It's pretty much on almost direct route to the, uh... To the boss. It's a very unusual temple. It's kind of different than the others. You throw, throw yourself through these holes. Those mummies, for now, are... Ugh. Immortal. We're gonna have an item later on that we'll be able to kill them. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I know that there were, like, tricks... ...stuff to note about this temple, but I can't remember, so... I'm ...just gonna go with it. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'm gonna try and find the item that we need for the boss... ...before this, uh, episode ends. <laughs> nice. Let's uh, check over here. Oh, I gotta move the, uh, push the stars. Let's blow this up. I think I shouldn't be... Oh, darn it. I wasn't supposed to pick up that skull. <clears throat> oh, they don't reset. Ugh. I'm gonna check anyway. Might be a key. Nope. No key. <laughs> There's just death. Yeah, this was was where the uh, the chest was at. another hole here. Heart, heart, heart. No. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Oh, these guys get paralyzed with this. Good. Definitely gonna use that. And these guys take a lot of hits. Can't wait to upgrade the sword. Whoa! Comp ass made this whole place dangerous. Why did this guy have to be in the one that... Yeah, they don't die. Oh, wait, they do. <laughs> they just take way more hits. Well, might as well. Oh, seriously? Wow, that was a waste. Oh no, you don't. <clears throat> yeah, those hands, the, uh, the wall masters, I believe they're called. Ugh, come on. 
Just annoying. Annoying. I try not to miss a detail. Well, anything that I can find around here. Oh, I just broke two skulls on you. You didn't die. That's hardcore. Kinda go on circles now. Uh. Better go to another hole, kinda further away, I guess. Just gotta find the big key. Nothing over there. Place is good. Oh, yeah, and these guys are this game's Gibdos. At least they don't paralyze you with their gaze. I mean, the ones in. The ones in Ocarina of Time were just so freaky. The way they sound, they were kind of zombie-ish. And when they paralyzed you, they made that creepy sound. I mean, wow. It used to scare me a little bit when I was a kid. <laughs> can play at night with the Redeads and the Gyptos. Wow, they're gonna kill me. Oh no, not the perfect combination. <laughs> oh good, finally. This is just what I needed. Freaking hand. So much magic power, but no life. Okay, I need to get back now and find the, uh... This is where I need to go after I get the chest. No hearts here? <laughs> Nobody gives me hearts. No love. Yeah, I'm like dying here, man. I suck. <laughs> to find a hidden room on the wall that has a fairy fountain. <laughs> oh. Hope this door takes me, yeah, to this side. Let me just go get that chest. You're kidding, right? There was a fairy right there. 
Well, lost the ferry, got another ferry. Pretty much the same. Yeah, I'm gonna have to replace the ferry soon with Red Potion, because they're just not doing it for me anymore. They don't, uh... Darn it. They don't restore as much life as I need. And I end up dying more because of that. Alright, here it is, Fire Rod. And on the next one, we'll be using it. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.